Welcome back. We are here looking at the tech stocks, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, November 5th, 2020, for the U.S. tech stocks. And it's, as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly. Uh, so the markets have been quite mixed due to the election. Um, they started rallying when the, the probability that uh, Donald Trump was going to be elected rose. And then that probability declined again, and the market declined. And then the probability for Biden victory uh, entered uh, the, 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 this uh, equation, and the rally has uh, the market has absolutely rallied. So at this point, there is it's, it's very very likely that Biden is going to win the election. I don't hope there is any Trump supporter that's listening to this, but but uh, that is what the data is showing. So. And the market is is uh, looking, seeing that as a very positive thing. And the main reason is that it most likely will be additional stimulus that is basically behind this story, and not just that Biden will win that election. But if you look at Netflix, Netflix rallied up towards the 50 moving average and pulled back significantly. We are trading within this range here of these highs and these lows. And at the moment, we are just uh, underneath the 50 moving average or the 100 moving average. Technical indicators are all turning around. So that means that we are most likely going to go much higher. So a break above the 50 moving average opens the door to these very highs of 574. Microsoft rallied above the 50 moving average. We are trading of highs here of uh, 233, the lows of 196. So... It is very likely that we are going to test these highs first and then the very highs. Technical indicators for Microsoft are very bullish, so this is a definite buy with the stop loss underneath. The same goes for Apple, but it's not as bullish as the other, uh, other tech, tech stocks. We are trading underneath the 50 moving average, and that is significant support at this resistance at this point, but these indicators are all turning around. These are very are looking very more uh, bullish um, at every minute. So it's just a matter of time before the uh, 50 moving average breaks. Then we'll find resistance at around 20, 125 and then to these very highs of 138. Very lows are around here at the 100 moving average. That is should be the absolute bottom of this market. So possible buy towards this area here and then and with a with a take profit there so look at amazon amazon has broken the 50 moving average we're also trading within this range here we're right in the middle technical indicators are looking very bullish for amazon stock so this is just a matter of time before we test these highs and for probably most of these stocks they are going to break the highs if there is additional stimulus um, that is basically what the market are screaming for at this point. There is little or no interest in basically shorting this. This is basically just buying them as cheap as possible because these stocks will go higher and higher. So just take uh, a buy when they meet significant resistance. Tesla pulled back. We have also been rallied the last uh, three days, uh, trading days. Now we uh, pull back towards the 20 exponential moving average. But I think that this is technically support here. Technical indicators are looking very bearish for the Tesla, and it will most likely go higher. Um, there are other uh, producer of electric vehicles entering this market. That probably is one of the reasons why Tesla is not as parabolical as it has been in the past as there will be just be more and more um, electric vehicles vehicles being produced by other makers and so so at this point we are trading within this range we are basically mid-range we need to break these highs here in order to go higher or this resistant area here in order to go higher or if we turn around then we can basically short it down to these lows so facebook has exploded to the upside we have breached this high and now we're targeting the size of 303 so we are not overbought yet so there's a lot of room to the upside we have the very lows around this area here at the 100 moving average at 257 so buying here is very risky 
I would prefer a pullback towards the 50 moving average in order to buy or even better towards this resist uh, support area in order to buy. But technical indicators for this stock are very bullish, so this probably will go much higher. Then we have Google. Google has broken the very highs here. So we, you can see Google here, we have broken that high and at the moment we are trading above those highs. So we are uh, not overbought yet, we are 67. So um, we probably will stay around here for quite some time. But in order to buy this at a more uh, or a less riskier stage is to just wait until it falls towards the 100 moving average or the 50 moving average again in order if you wanted to buy this. Uh, no reason to short any of these stocks. These are basically buy them as cheap as possible, and that means buy them at every pullback towards these pullbacks for these highs. So, for example, it's pullback towards the 200 moving average. If you entered here and sold at that point, that's a 25% gain. That is just absolutely ridiculous. So, that this is just how much? Like uh, four weeks, one month, 25% amazing so hope you find this video helpful you're welcome to support this channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos you're welcome to join us on some on patreon um, there is a signal service and we also have you'll get access to our full technical analysis for the commodities market good luck and thank you very much